Welcome to the Account Solutions. This channel is dedicated to bring you solutions to your everyday tasks in areas of bookkeeping, business administration, accounting and taxation. If you like what you're doing here, kindly click on the subscription button and support us. Enjoy the rest of this tutorial. Welcome back. This is a continuation of the video tutorial for our template, the return on investment tracker with Excel VBA. If you've not seen the part one and part two video, kindly ensure that you follow the link below and see the part one and part two video. So let's create an investment for the five investors who just registered into our platform in the last video. So you go back to your start table of content and you click on create new investment. So you, co you come to this platform. Now you have to select the investor's ID from here. It's always good to select it so that you won't type and make a mistake. It's good to select the investor's ID. Just scroll down. You know where it is and you look for it and select it all right but if you have the investor's id on the form you can also type but when you are typing ensure you type it exactly the way it is no space between them okay so i'm going to create for um the, this investor be wise for this one waka waka this investor then the amount is invest now use a very large amount you know higher than what we have already in the system so it will be obvious let me use 10 million date of investment i'm going to use 14th for all my illustrations 14th of october 2020 then select the duration that's number of months that the investment is to elapse so i'm going to just choose um, three months the drop down here from one to 12 months so let's pick three months roi let's say is um, 10 percent the commission to be paid to the referral is 1%. Now, the referral's ID, let's select um, BC as a referral. Remember, we added BC um, in the previous video. Then the account officer, let's BC, this is the account officer because there's no how BC will refer an investor and somebody else will be the account officer. But it's possible if. Um, that's how you want to do it but for this uh, demonstration let's say bc james is the referrer i'm going to do account officer very important to check on all this now if for any reason i want to add this can they select them with account officer so you must fill up all this if i remove this also and try to add enter the id of the ref it's very important to do that so you have to fill up all these places very important all these cells you have to fill it in otherwise it will not to not post so again on the on the investors form write down the investment id very important write down the investment id on the form is very important okay so pick that investment id so you add this investment post it Let's add another investment for a dog is, I don't get it, whatever. That's the next investor we added. So come to the ID, you look for that ID, bring out the form that you have and look for that ID on the form. I've got the investor's ID here. Let's say the amount is 15 million. The date of investment is 14th of September 20. Duration again three months. ROI is ten. <coughs> ROI is ten. Commission one percent. The ID, the ref is let's say the same ref. Okay. All right. Well, let's give it to someone else. To. Okay. All right. So we have that add that particular investment the next investment we add is for sidon look mr sidon look i look for the id ido 
that's the SDI investment amount let's say 20 million I'm using these figures just to show you the difference when we get to the investment details so let's say 14th of August I'm recording this video on the 14th of November 2020 so I'm using 14 so I can explain how to generate daily payments for each day so duration again is three months ROI is 10 percent commission is one percent then let's say the ref is this first guy okay what's the name james blue that's the ref add okay add another investment for you don't mean it sheets let's do for his or her id that's this one let's say the amount is 25 million date of investment is um, 14th of August 2020 duration again is um, six months three months sorry our oh, is 10 percent commission one percent the ref is um, let's say this is the ref account officer okay we add okay fine and finally let's add the last investment for be wise no darling so be wife's id be wise no darling they say the investment is 8 million date of investment is 14th of july 2020 duration is six months our eye is 10 percent commission one percent the ref's id let's say it's this ref and account officer let's say it's Stephen White okay then you add okay so we've added five investments for five investors next is to show you how to view the investment details and also begin to record the payment that they made for those investors So back to start, let's check the investor's um, status and see what's going on. You can also check this at the investment details. You can look either of the tables are the same. I've explained this before. The difference is that one is showing both closed investments and running investment, while the other is showing only running investment. Again, you won't see the new investors here. You won't see their names here. You can't see their names here because this table it will, it will not will not pull automatically you need to refresh this table so there's a command button here just click and refresh okay and you are fine so if you go through these tables if you go through this table you will see the names we just added now you can see all of them we added waka waka come back I don't get it, whatever. See, don't look. You don't need to cover shit. Be wise, no darling. And these are their investment numbers. You check, you see them. This is the maturity date for all these investments. Okay? They are all running. This is 10 million, just 15, 20, 8 million. Remember when I did all these investments? And this is the ROI that will be paid for 3 months, 3 months, 3 months, 3 months, and 6 months ROI. So ROI cleared zero. We've not paid them any ROI yet, although some of them are due already. Then total ROI to be that is due is this. Investment capital is this, and total ROI and investment is this. So just to show you that the system is working properly well, once you record your data well, the system will populate this result for you. Now we have um, some of them started from. October, some in July, some in um, August and September. Now we need to record their ROI payments. Some have been paid for three months, some have been paid for four months, and some, you know, have been paid completely. So how do you record this payment? So look at this space. ROI cleared its zero. Okay, 
that thing is here so let's look at put your mind on this place so that when we are posting you will see that here we we'll begin to populate with figures based on how much we've paid the particular investor on that that investment so to update the investment how i paid for the new ones we added let us go down let's look at the new ones we added you can see uh, waka waka come back i don't get it be wise when you look at them you see that this is three months investment three month investment six month investment roi cleared zero we have not paid any roi when you've paid your roi to calculate the number of times you've paid you can see um, mila anderson six months investment will pay only four times and to march on 27th of december so we have november december to pay for joseph stalwart six month investment will pay only four times we have november 28th and 28th to pay our iron so you can see the system shows you number of months that um, the investment uh, will match up and the number of months you've paid for so for this new ones we added here we can't we've not paid any any of the months that are due now this one could be to pay for you know the, um, october november december and january is three months investment so you pay november 14th which is today i'm recording this video december 14th and january 14th so we have to pay two months that are due um one month is due sorry november 14th today is due for payment now this one is due on december 14th so it means it means we are ready to pay for october 14th and november 14th we've not paid for it we will pay for it and then once you've done that it will show you two months paid you now have one month left to pay so this one is six months is due on january 14th it means we are yet to pay for you know august september october and november that is four months then once we've done that we now have only two months left which is december 14th and january just now 1 14th so just to explain to you how these payments work but when this is implemented in your business you don't have to be doing what i'm doing now every day you just make payments okay you don't have to wait for three months um, to pass or for two weeks to pass before you make payments no it's a real-time system you make payment as they are due once you've done that you will be calculating you know how to pay the areas or how to record areas payment you've made already at the implementation stage we can assist you to populate your existing data into the template so if the ROIs are due for payment and you've not made those payments you will still see um you will see zero zero are for those that are already um due that that mature already but you have not paid any roi yet you can see that this is a three month investment i have not been paid and it's due today today is 14th november today is the maturity um date but you see zero zero days left to maturity because today is maturity date once you pay out these two roi this particular um investors this investment will not appear on this sheet anymore so i practically left it this way for us to explain how the system works so i'm going to post payment for this new investment from here down you know these ones one two three so the, all of them five of them have our eye pending for payment i'm going to just populate those our eyes and will not see the changes that we'll have here you can uh, screenshot this page you know and keep on site to, to compare what difference you would see when we post payments for this particular investment because they are due for payment but we've not paid the roi yet for them next top is to show you how to record the payments you've made when you've made payments how do you record those payments that you've made so i've, I've skipped um generate daily payment i'm going to do that later but just to show you how to enter payments made so let's pay um for the areas of roi that we are due that I just showed you in the last video let's pay for those um, roi's 
I'll just copy all the due dates in the past and I'll just paste them. On. So I've um, populated the investment numbers just to, I gave this um, extra row space just to explain some things. Now for this investment, their first payment due dates are displayed here. These are the first payment due date for this investment. This investment was invested on 14th of July. So the first due date for the ROI is 14th of August. This investment was done on the 14th of August. So the first due date is 14th of September. This one was the same 14th of August. The first due date is 14th of September. Why this one was 14th of September. So the first ROI due date is 14th of October. And this one was invested on the 14th of October and the first due date is 14th of November. So these are the first payment for this investment. Now this is a 5. Now it's 4 here now because this one, the first payment is 14th, while second is December 14th. But for the ones that were invested on August and September, they have second payment already. Second payment for this is 14th November. The first was 14th October. You can see it. Now this one, first payment is 14th of September. The second is 14th of October. Why this first payment is 14th of August, second is 14th of September. Now then one that started in, in July would have gone through three payments by now, which is this one here. Okay, so this is how you you know enter the payment. But like I said earlier on, we assume that you use the system on a daily basis. So you have any need to um post um backwards but if the case come to that you need to be careful to know the months you've missed you know you need to you must post those months for the system to calculate properly so now i'm going to select one more thing now you can choose if you are paying an investor because for every payment you're not paying with the investor's id or the ref id you are paying with the investment number because an investor may have one or more investment. A ref may have one or more investment that he or she brought into the business. So you have to make every payment based on investment number. It's very important. Every payment based on investment number. That's why I said on the form of the investor, write all the investment numbers on that form. It's very important. Now I'm paying an investor. So I'll select investor. I'm paying for ROI, commission, investment payback or rollover, I'm paying ROI. It's very important to do that. So you just do the same thing for all of them. When you copy and paste, please be sure to always paste special and paste values. Okay, the same thing as, you know, um, right clicking and you just paste one, two, three. It's very important. Okay, very, very important to do that. Now, I'm not going to leave any space in between them, just to illustrate to you the different moons that have been due on this investment. Now, you can see that um, some cells have been lighted in red. It means that you need to put some values here. Now, once you type in the amount to be paid here, then this red will go off. Now, these um, two columns here, they are formula populated just to show you the amount of ROI that is due on this investment. You don't have to do any calculation anymore. So it's not manual. So you need to just to type that figure here. You can see one, five, two, two, eight hundred, and five. Now you can see I made a mistake here. So the system will not allow you to post this. If I say record payment, one of the amounts you type to pay is either higher or lower than the amount to be paid. So you cannot pay less than the ROI or more than the ROI. It's very important. So when we get to generating daily payment, I will show you how to avoid typing this payment. Just copy the payment and you just paste values here and it will give you the exact amount you have to pay. On that ROI, but just to illustrate how this work, I've typed it manually 
to show you you know the difference between typing manually and also copying from daily payment sheet and pasting directly here to make your payment once you are sure everything is fine then you can now post this post just a control to be sure you know if you're not sure you say no if you are sure just yes and okay so let's get back to our investment status um, refresh okay so let's see if there's any difference in our, in our table let's go down you can see that all these empty cells from here that were added they are now they now have figures so you can see that we've made some payments on the ROI you can see all of them how I paid so far the one due you can see them let's let's check the investments investor status itself and see our figures okay so let's refresh refresh here okay so um so you can see that these are the new investments we added you can see we now have one month have been paid for two months paid two months paid two months paid and three months paid and i can see we still have zero here because these two they've matured today okay so next stop is to show you how to generate daily payments see you in the next video